What is up? So, imagine that. Thread's got a new bag. <laughs> so what this is, is the 511 PTR something something something. I may or may not put something down here, but I'll put a link down below. So why did I get this one? This isn't what I typically get. I typically get like Rush Series or Moab or something like that. Well, I went on a trip for work and quickly realized that what I was carrying was not very conducive to walking through the airport. Uh, I have tons and tons of bags. I have duffel bags, I have backpacks, I have all that kind of stuff. But the bags that I had, none of them really felt like they were gonna work well for this trip. I knew it was gonna be a little chaotic. It was a work event. We had a lot of walking to do, both through the airport and around the resort that we went to. So I got this. Now, the stuff that I took worked, but not comfortably. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this will work a little better. I have another trip coming up with work very soon. So my lovely wife ran down to 511 and grabbed me this. So just want to go over a few features. This is definitely a first look. I haven't even removed the tags. So let's take a look here, what the tags say. Laptop compatible. We'll look at that in a minute. Has a shoe pocket. This is the PTR gym backpack, black. I won't even have to put it down on the screen. Uh, we did get it on the sale that they were having, so that was cool. It's got that new rubberized grip that they started doing. I'm not a fan of that. It's personal preference. They also put it on the bottom. Again, not a huge fan, um, but it is what it is. So let's look at this shoe thing here. It's got a little, little tiny, not even quarter zip right here. And it has these mesh corners. 511. I know you're not watching this, very unlikely that you are. If you are, use the mesh that you always use. Don't go to this fine stuff. It may be just as strong, but trust me, we buy your gear for hard use stuff. We want this to be the beefy stuff, but that's neither here nor there. Got my shoes. They slide right in. That would have been awesome for the trip, and there's plenty of room. I could have easily shoved my hoodie in here with my shoes. That would have been awesome for this trip. I didn't know it had that until we got it. It's got a few, la goodness, excuse me, a few lashing points around. It also has a place for a name tape or patches that is Molly compatible. So you have three rows here. They went a little better subdued with their you know, their tags and whatnot, <clears throat> but it still has this <laughs> big 511 thing right here, which it's fine. On the back, boom. Again, I don't have to put it on the screen. It's right there for you. This is really nice. And this is also for, you can just, boom. But if you have a roller, you can slide this bag down on your roller. Suitcase that is. You'll notice there's a couple more little latching points down here, lashing, whatever you want to call them. does have a sternum strap that's removable. I will be removing it. It has the spandexy water bottle pockets, one on each side. So these two little ones on the back, on the bottom here, this is pretty cool. And I did not know it had this. So right here, it's going to be loud. You have these two straps that come out that you can then flip it around and hook these on the bottom as such. A little hard to do working around a tripod and camera here. So now you have a place to like run a, a jacket or whatever, right? Pretty cool. Let me get the shoes out of the way here. Let's go into the main compartment. It is clamshell design. Opens all the way up. Nice light colored interior. Make it easy to see all your stuff. And then you have two more 
what I'm going to call water bottle pouches on the inside along with the pretty nicely padded laptop sleeve that is a buckle instead of the velcro I like that I kind of wish they would make this removable I usually end up cutting these out on this one I might not because it's not very intrusive the back panel is that rigid plastic I'm usually not a fan of that and I take that out of most all of my packs but in this case I think it's going to be very beneficial to have that for whenever you're using it on a plane and whatnot and it's non removable on this pack so even if I wanted to I'd have to do surgery it does offer a pretty deep amount of space put a shoe in there just for reference you could easily stack a pair of shoes in here and still not really bulge the backpack at all so that's nice on this flap on the front here you have two pockets be nice to stow electronics or whatever and then this top one is again that new no see them style mesh again I don't know I haven't had a bag from 511 that's had this but I would have preferred their normal stuff here but that's okay so I brought a couple of water bottles so we can test the water bottle pockets because that's always a thing so on these outer ones here I brought the old standby 32 ounce Nalgene if you don't have anything in the bag, you can make it happen, but man, does it stick into the bag. This is more for your hydro flasks. Hydro flask fit in here, no problem at all. Still sticks in a little bit, but not a lot. Let's say you don't want them on the outside. If you're gonna stow this, a hydro flask will fit. So you can actually have two right inside there like that it does eat up a little bit of real estate but not a lot now this ain't gonna work in here these are stretchy these are not but like whenever i was flying whenever you're going through security and stuff you can't have water in here anyway so you just have your hydro flask or what you know smart water bottle whatever anything that's around this size just stowed inside don't have nothing on the outside overall my first impressions of this bag I like it a few things I wish they would have done a little bit differently like the mesh and this rubberized coating I'm just not a fan of this I feel like this is gonna break down way before the nylon would just my opinion don't know for a fact but I just have a feeling that this is gonna wear out a lot faster but for just for travel it's not like i'm going to be carrying this every day seems like a really good pack so time will tell i'll probably do a follow-up video after i have it loaded out and kitted out ready for a trip of course i got to remove all the tags and you know me these uh these zipper pulls they're probably not going to be these whenever you see this bay again it's going to be changed i'm gonna remove the sternum strap I will likely take it with me because our next trip for work is international so I'm probably going to want to be able to secure this onto my person a little better and have a little better option because there is a chance that we may be in an area where we got to walk a ways fully adjustable straps of course these straps are super nice I mean they are soft and they are lined with that that mesh vent stuff I don't know the technical term we're gonna call it mesh vent stuff it does have a couple of you know latch lashing points around on it these are so you can adjust your sternum strap this would be really good for like a flashlight or something got the little 511 logo right there yeah overall I like it seems like a good pack if anyone has one of these share your thoughts share anything that you any experience that you've had with it down below get a discussion going i don't know how many videos are out on this already but i may do an update video soon
with it all loaded out see how it see how it packs out so till next time take care